Hey everybody, Mike Miller here with Tri-M Visual, and in January 2017, the gang at HitFilm was nice enough to let me do a Scopes tutorial for their YouTube channel. In that tutorial, we discussed briefly how you can use Scopes themselves as a motion graphic element. And to demonstrate that, I've built these lower thirds. When you open the lower third project, you will be taken to this note screen, which just talks about what we're talking about here. The main things to change are the text in the Text Holder 1 and Text Holder 2 comp. As in all lower third templates, you can change the text and the font to what you want. The Scopes Holder is where this lower third is really built. The Text Holder 1 and Text Holder 2 objects both have gradient effects on them, and these gradient effects are what set up how the Scopes draws the text. Depending on the font and the text you've used, you might need to go into these layers and adjust the start and end points of the gradient to make the text fit correctly. The two grade layers, Parade and Waveform, determine which one of the scopes is going to render the text. Only one of these grade layers should be active at a time, although for an interesting variation, you can try having both grade layers active and keyframing the opacity of the lower layer. Once you have the text how you want it, let's move on to the final lower third composition. This contains the scopes text that has already been set up and is preset to animate the lower third off and on by keyframing the scale parameter. If you want to use your own transition to bring the text off and on, you can completely ignore the final lower third composite shot and just drag scopes holder directly over your background video layer. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at just one of the ways you can use scopes to generate motion graphic or lower third elements. I'm Mike Miller for Triumvisual, and I'll see you next time.